So my name's Ty Flanagan. I graduated in 2006 from Franklin. I majored in visual and communication arts and minored in French and literature. Um, I'm from Denver, Colorado. I grew up there my whole life until coming to Franklin. Um, and then I came just now from DC. So currently living in DC, recently finished my master's there at Georgetown with the School of Foreign Service. My Franklin experience was perhaps the perfect undergraduate experience. Um, you can't ask for a better setting than Lugano, Switzerland. Also, one of the best advantages of Franklin College was the small community. Um, you kind of get to know everyone, for better or worse, but mostly for the best. Uh, and I've developed some of the best friendships uh, at Franklin, and I still keep in touch with all my good friends from, from undergrad whether they're in the States or abroad. Um, it's just an, it's a nice global network, um, a tight-knit community. For example, I remember when I got the call from the Peace Corps office saying, oh, you're gonna go to Jordan, congratulations. So I said, hold on a second. So I walked to the grotto and asked um, two Jordanian students, like, what do you guys think about me doing the Peace Corps there? So I could immediately talk to someone from that country. And then once I was in the Peace Corps in Jordan, I was able to meet up with people on the weekend, go to alumni events at the Dead Sea. So, I mean, no one else I know has had that global network and has those connections. And they last forever. I mean, it was a solid academic education. Definitely prepared me for my other endeavors. Um, I mean, it was, it was good prep for grad school even, because Franklin is very writing intensive, and one skill you need later in life, whether it's in work or in graduate school, is to write. Um, and here, professors are reading your papers, so it's not, you're not writing 20 page, pages, a TA kind of checks it off a list. You're, you're writing a paper, you're getting feedback from a professor, um, and improving your skills. Uh, so even academically, it was a good training ground in that sense. So it definitely kind of expanded my international horizons and perhaps inspired me to go to the Peace Corps after graduation just to keep, keep on that international path, get to know a different part of the world. Um, so after the Peace Corps, I included the Middle East and parts of Central Asia too. So not, it's not necessarily a, a, a Eurocentric worldview. Although you're in the heart of Europe, it does have open doors to a broader world as well. With academic travels now to India, I went to Africa, the Caribbean. Um, so it's, it definitely expands your horizons, uh, if, as cheesy as that is, but it does expand your global perspective. I see myself in DC at least for the next few years. Um, but it's nice, it's a very international city, so people are always traveling through. Um, there's a good alumni base in DC, so you have your annual Franklin events. Um, I mean, last November we had it at the Jordanian Embassy. So I was able to go there, speak my Jordanian Arabic that I learned in the Peace Corps, meet the ambassador. Um, it, was, it was a wonderful experience, and that kind of thing happens all the time. It's not just once in, a, once in a while. Franklin's always putting on these kind of events. Having them in different locations all around the world, all around the states. So I'll definitely be keeping up with my net, uh, Franklin network here. So, so now as I look forward to the future, look at jobs, I can, I'm looking at Middle East, North Africa focus, but I can also, with my French that I learned here at Franklin, I can look at West Africa, the Caribbean, um, so it's really a, a broad, global uh, skill set that I, I can market myself as having.